Hello, this is Asim from Skills Build Training, a channel where you can become an IT pro really fast. In today's video, I will show you 7 Excel dashboard design ideas for generating beautiful reports. So let's get started. This is our data which tells us about the sales of different cookies in different countries. We will try to make a dashboard which will be precise, beautiful and informative. This data consists of countries, cookies, units sold, revenue generated and profit at the given dates. Now we will add a pivot table. We have initialized this whole data as a table so the data is recorded as a table for the pivot table reference. So now I need more pivot table. So I copied the sheet and created two more sheets, each one having the same pivot table. So now I will rename the sheet as profit by market and cookies, as this will be the name of this pivot table. Then I'll select the data. I will place the country in rows and cookies in the columns and then prices in the values. This will be the shape of our data. Now we will format our values as they are prices. So we format them as currency and we will remove the decimals. Oops, our last line is left. So we will format it also just like this. So now first thing, select the meaningful visual graphics for displaying the data. So we will make a pivot chart from analyze tab and select a bar graph with stack columns. Second thing, remove the unwanted labels and headings. So we will remove the unwanted headings and labels from the graph. From the design tab, we will add a title of the chart. It is very important to let people know what this chart tells us. So we will add the title profits by market and cookies. And then we copy it and paste it in the dashboard sheet. We will arrange all our interactive charts in this sheet. Now we will move towards another sheet with the pivot table. In this pivot table, a monthly profit will be visualized. So we will rename it as profits by month. And then we add data, products and date into rows and values. Now we will remove the quarter and year stamp from the date keeping the month only. The table shows the monthly profit of the company. Since the data is in profit, so we add currency formatting to it and remove the decimals. Now we will add a pivot chart by using the tab analyze in this toolbar. Now we will select the line graph as it is more likely that we are interested in trend of profits over the months. The line graph shows a summarized result. We will remove unwanted legends from the chart and will copy and paste it in the dashboard sheet. Now we'll move to third sheet with the pivot table. We will rename it as the title of the pivot table, which is sales per month. Add the date in rows and units sold in the values. Then remove the quarter and year stamp. And this will be the shape of our table that shows sales per month. And then we add a pivot chart. We select the line graph to display the trend of sales and we'll format this pivot chart and then move this chart into the dashboard sheet. Arrange the tables in an attractive way. Now we will resize and arrange these charts to give a good and attractive look. Fourth thing, apply the timeline filter to time series data. Select any of the chart and press analyze from the toolbar and select insert timeline. A timeline block will pop up that allows you to select the specific month and visualize its profit. As you can see that if you select this month, it will start showing the profits of the month only. Fifth thing, select appropriate filters and slices to make it more interactive for the user. Now again, select any of the chart and insert slicer from the analyze tab two slicers have appeared as you can see while looking at the content of this slicer it is obvious 
that these are cut jays and these are cookies so we will need to remove these headings so right click on the slicer and select slicer settings uncheck the display header option now we will resize it and arrange it under the timeline sixth thing utilize the white area effectively now arrange them in a uniform size and select an appropriate width now as you can see we can select different filters and we'll see the dashboard changing but only the bar graph is changing not the line graphs and we need to connect these slices with other graphs also for this we will select timeline and right click on it and navigate to report connections and then check the options for other two pivot charts now as you can see the graphs are changing shapes as you select different options to select all you need to press the control key and click the number of filters you want to select similarly report connections to other graphs with other two slices also now we will resize and arrange it in a presentable mode so we align these boxes and adjust the width of these filter now the dashboard is looking more interactive and cooler than i thought select all the filters in it and the stack columns will visualize all cookies and all markets seventh thing select appropriate color scheme and fonts in the design tab select appropriate theme and change the colors to make it relatable to your theme the colors should always look professional now you need to finish the look of dashboard by rem removing all the lines and these headings click the view tab and uncheck the view grid line options view headers option and view formula bar option it will make the background of your dashboard white i hope these ideas will make your dashboard more interactive than before for more tech savvy and informational content subscribe to this channel